Welcome to 12th Man, a brand new football show bringing you real football. Today I have D. Sharvin with me, Malaysia's national player. Hi, I'm D. Sharvin Red. I'm playing for Malaysia on 23 Herman Mule A. I've been playing for Herman Mule since 2009. So, how did you get into football in the beginning? Um, my father was Shlango Raza Cup team player and he shows football stars to us when he was a kid and my brother was playing for Slamo until that time, under 14 so when I see my father and my brother I feel like I'm going to play football and I start up with straight on the road with the shoes and then slowly I got selected for school team when I was 10 years old and I started to represent state district when I was 10, 11 and 12. In 12, I got a selection a chance for the national under So I couldn't make it because I was too small at the time of the 13. I got selected for the national under 13. We played in Cambodia, I performed very well. In 14, they called me up again and I did well. And the whole team, they asked us to go to Madame Brahma Sports School. And we was there for one year because they said it's a future project football team. And we was there when we was 15. We came into Bukinjale and we played a qualifying round in Singapore. And we qualified to the second round when we were 16. So that's the final round we made. And if we did well, we can go for World Cup on the 17th, but we lost in Uzbekistan when we were 16 and then when 17 we all like few players just push on selected for Mamo A. So since 2000 I'm with Kosh on Kim Sui until now. So recently you got injured while you were playing in Australia. Can you tell us a bit more about uh, your previous injuries and how, how did this injury happen? When I was 16 it was 2008. So I got a very rough tackle when I was in overseas. So after the end of that year, I couldn't do some flexible movement for my ankle. So when I went to the doctor, the doctor said there's a bone growth to be shown in X ray. So I then they said it's better to opt to surgery before that bone is like a little bigger or anything. So I decided to operate. So when I operate, then the doctor found out that there is no bone growth actually. The bone just broke into small pieces and came out. So he said it's better not to remove. So he have to put in and he just put two screws in. And after that, he said we will remove that screw after one year. So I was playing with that screw in 2009, the whole year. scared to play while having this group. And then 2009 and I operated again to remove that screw. And after that I can do some flexible movement and I'm alright to play So I still feel that bit weak. Then about this recent uh, injury that you picked up while I'm having school in this left ankle, I don't use much left leg. So I use my right leg. So that time I got selected for the That took a little bit of kitchen. Yes. Training time when I got tackled by the 
सीन है सो इट्स वेरी बैड तक का सोलन टू बिग एंड एन अरेस्टेड फॉर वन एंड हाफ मंथ देन अगर मैं वो बट स्टिल वेरी बिग एंड आई कंटिन्यू प्लेइंग 5 years next 5 years i think i'll be playing for any clubs and i hope that i'll be one of the main role in national team in 5 years so uh, after your playing career is over maybe around 10 years down the road what do you think you want to do then uh, well i'm playing when i'm almost 29 or 30 I'll just apply for C license. I'll keep on doing for license. So playing for the clubs. Maybe after my football career, once I retire, I'll be doing coaching. And while doing coaching, I'll do some business. So, uh, which Malaysian players do you look up to? I look up to the legends such as Tadahari, Santok Singh, Suchinan. Arugam, they are one bring up uh, national football those times. So do you aspire you to be like them as well? Yes, really uh, be like them. They really inspired young boys like us, the team because the team work shows that they bring they don't have a national football somewhere. Who's your all-time favorite football player? Brian Dix. <laughs> Why? Because uh, he is very disciplined and he just stayed in Manchester United. He started the career until the end. And I think he is the oldest player in Manchester United when he keep up his discipline, his fitness level. He played very long. I'm interested in that he plays very simple football, but he is even he's old, but he's like very effective for the team if he gets down. So, what do you think about him being a coach in United now? Um, very happy. It's really helpful for other players to get his experience. So, they get the ideas and experience when they can play on the field. Play. Because players like Ryan Giggs, they have lots of experience by winning the cup, how to control the game pace, when they're losing, when they're winning. Hey to our sponsor, it's a brand coffee house, Cyberjaya, and also City Youth Academy Malaysia. Don't forget to catch us next time. Thank you.